Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today I'm making updated review on Light Machine Gun. Mainly because recently, last week in Atom Shop, we received this amazing paint for the Enclave variant. It does look awesome on it. I really like it. Hey there Vault Dweller, did you had a chance to try amazing taste of Nuka-Cola Quantum? Do you want to feel energy, the blue energy rushing through your veins? You definitely should. Head down to the store right now and grab your towel. But now to the point. Uh, recently I did updated review for the 50 cal. The thing those guns have in common in, with, between them two, they both automatic heavy weapons that do not require any spin-up. I do have a quad version in here. Other stars are not really good, but it's a quad and it's primed for ultra sight. Unfortunately, the receiver is the only thing you can modify it. You can have prime or regular, nothing else. Now, if we compare the light machine gun with the 50 cal, the damage per shot, you can see almost the same. 50 cal slightly higher, only a little bit. And final word, does come with increased fire rate. So default is 90 and default on this light machine gun is 159. So it's almost doubled with almost the same damage. The regular downside of this gun is 75 bullet capacity. But if you have quad, it goes up to 300, which is indeed great. Now, let's go for some testing, the field testing. And I see Scorch Earth event, so maybe let's try there. Okay, here we are, Scorch Earth event going on. Look at this gun. The control is very good. The recoil is not bad at all. The control is quite easy. Accuracy is decent. And I have on this character Twisted Muscle, so your accuracy can be even slightly better. I do have Twisted Muscle that reduce gun accuracy slightly uh, with Class Freak included. Now, if we get any, like, ground enemy... Oh, no, that's a player. <laughs> that's a player. We don't have any ground enemies. We do. That's a gutsy. You aim down the side, very easy to control and stay on the target, which is good. And not every heavy gun can have that. There's a lot of heavy guns that do not offer this consistency. And look how long you can fire with this gun, how well you can stay on the scorch beast even when she's flying. The accuracy aiming down the side, really good. Damage, really good and better than a 50 cal. The downside is if I would use anything else than quad, then it's no longer so good. If it's not quad, it's not so good. So quad is like by default the best option. Let's reload take a little bit. You see that's the reload without any boosters to reload it faster, just a speed demon. So it's definitely too slow to use it like that if you would need to reload it so often. But look how fast it mows all those enemies. Now, of course, this would not be a true test without Super Mutant test. So we go for that too. Oh, that's another Free Star Scorch Beast. This time it's not a queen, so we grab this loot too. Assassin stores are not good. And now let's take on those super mutants as well. I will show you a quick comparison between other heavy guns so you see how it plays. But you can tell probably already how good it is on those super mutants. It's, it's putting some work. It's really quick takedown on every level 100 super mutant. Even if I will not aim for the head, like aiming for a torso, it is fast. And don't, don't remember. I mean, don't forget, it's just one star quad, basically. The other stars are not great. If I would have faster fire rate, 
the kills would be even faster. Already quad is doing work. Now if I swap to the 50 cal, the final words, so we are swapping to anti-armor, faster fire rate. So this is a good roll. You can see the kill time. It's a little bit slower. It's a little bit slower than with a light machine gun. Light machine gun is faster and my accuracy with a 50 cal is lower. So I'm trading it for... Basically I'm trading... Oh, that's a legendary. Basically, I'm trading better accuracy and higher damage on light machine gun for cheaper ammo on the 50 cal. As 50 cal ammo, that's not a secret. It is cheaper. So this is a difference. And I don't need quad on the 50 cal because it carried 250 rounds by itself. And back to the 50 cal, I mean 50 cal, to the light machine gun for a moment, so we have a good feel. We're able to tell how fast the 50 cal have been killing. This less damage per shot, because it's quad, there is no anti-armor effect, and there is no faster fire rate on this one. If I would have faster fire rate, it would be closer comparison, but unfortunately I was not so lucky, so that's without faster fire rate. Still putting a really good damage. So this is a trade-off. If you want weapon that have instant fire, 50 cal or light machine gun, if that your choice, apart from obvious different look on both guns, you are asking the question, do I want cheaper and less accurate gun to use or do I want more accurate with lower recoil but more expensive to use. That's basically your choice. So you can have two. If you need to shoot something that's far away, light machine gun will work way better. It is way easier to follow targets and aim at targets that are far away than with a 50 cal. So this is updated review for 2023. I uh, still think quad is the way to go. If you have different one, you will be limited with those reloads, but still, it can be a use case. It can be a use case for different legendary effects. If you have a good one, like bloodied or anti-armor light machine gun, definitely can use it. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.